Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 45 from our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we discussed about the active record models in details and in this lecture, we're gonna discuss about migration a bit. However, we have already discussed them in lecture number 29 and you can find the link of that video into the description of this lecture. I will summarize the migration into this video. So migrations are a way to alter your database schema over the time using migration you can create table drop tables add remove rename attributes for existing tables and so on so migration is basically a ruby class and that use a dsl it means a domain specific language so that you don't have to write sql commands by hand to make changes to your database so what i mean by dsl here so just open your project and uh, open the migration file into the db migrate folder so you can choose any of the file okay so let's start with the student migration here so this migration will when you run this migration this will create an student table into your schema.rb and this is called the dsl okay so this uh, code is written into ruby dsl and independent of your database system whatever you prefer in your application for example if you prefer mysql then you can run this migration if you prefer sqlite then you can run this migration if you prefer postgres sql or any rdbms uh, database type uh, database then you can run this migration for all the database types so it allow you to independently write your migration from the type of your database management software okay you just need to be careful about only one thing that you should not create migration manually but you must generate your migrations by command line because when you do that your migration will be generated by a time star okay so here if you can see that uh, this migration file has a time star associated with it okay so whenever you generate a migration a utc timestamp will be appended to the name of your migration file okay and this timestamp is very important because it uh, shows that at what time and what year month and date that migration has been generated okay and all the migration run into the order of their associated timestamps okay so here you can see if you remove this uh, timestamp then you will it will be hard for you to identify that uh, what should be the order of uh, execution of this migration okay so we will look uh, about uh, look at the importance of this timestamp timestamp into another upcoming lecture as well where we will learn what is the schema versioning and uh, how it is defined and we will discuss there in more detail but uh, for now it's all about the migration from this lecture and in coming lectures we will see how to alter database using uh, migrations schema versioning reversible migrations and uh, the older syntaxes of migration like uh, def up and down methods and change methods and when you should avoid using change method and when you should write reversible migration so we will see everything in upcoming lectures so please go through the entire video and check the description of the video as well where you can find the lecture number a link of uh, lecture number 29 and you can learn about active record migration there as well so thanks for watching the video and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe